I'm Wayne Winston, I'm in the DISC department, and I'm a visiting clinical professor, I guess is the title. So I went to MIT undergraduate, studied math, went to Yale, got a PhD in what's called Operations Research and Management Science, then taught at Indiana University for 38 years, and I've done a lot of this stuff outside of the school. I go to Microsoft and teach the people there how to use Excel. I'm really interested in sports and math, and we've worked for the Dallas Mavericks under Mark Cuban. Now we're working for the New York Knicks. I've written several books on what we call analytics, the use of math and business, a book on marketing analytics, several books on Excel, books on management science, operations research, math and sports. Also, I was on Jeopardy once, I won two games and then I got slaughtered. And now I'm teaching the MBAs, the uh, introductory quantitative or statistical class and a course in math and sports and I really like teaching both those courses. That's similar to what I did before. My partner is Jeff Sagarin, who's probably a much better known person than I am to the public at large. Jeff and I went to MIT together. We got to meet each other watching TV in the dorm, what football games every Sunday in the dorm room. We developed something called the just a plus minus used to rate basketball players on how the team does when you're in the game and out of the game. So you can rate a basketball player based on box scores, which would most people looked at before, but we look at every minute of every game who's on the court for each team. So we found a way to create that data set and then we found a way to rate players and lineups, which nobody had done. And basically we invented this thing called the just a plus minus, which some people don't like, but a lot of people really try and re recreate it now based on our idea, which wasn't a really deep idea, but we were the first people to come up with it. So my research, I, w I mean, if you want to call it research, is basically how can I help people who work for a living use math to do their job better? So like I've gone to 3M marketing and developed models that help them figure out what has more effect on sales, price, advertising, or is the product on display? Because then you can figure out should you advertise, should you cut the price, and things like that. And then I really, I guess my favorite thing is teaching people all the cool things in Excel, how they can solve just about any problem in Excel. I mean, it may, it may be an analytic problem, but it could just be reorganizing the data. Like I had one kid in the class last, in my stats class last night, he was a meteorologist, and basically he said, can you teach me in Excel how I can schedule, how I can write down, once I know when a worker starts a meteorologist, which day of the month, he's on five days and off three days, can we easily create the schedule for each worker? And yeah, I can do that. I've already helped, I think, five or six people in the class with problems they have at work. But I guess that's the thing I like the best, trying to show how, what you, can, how you can use Excel to improve the decision making and the reporting capabilities of the students on their jobs. Deloitte supposedly wants to hire 12,000 analytics professionals in the next five years. And that there just aren't that many. So I mean, if, if kids in high school or here at Bauer or just anywhere on the campus like math and want to apply math to solve problems in different disciplines, I mean, there's nothing wrong with majoring in math, but it's not going to get you a job that really solves real world problems. It's beautiful and it's fun. But analytics is a job where you can use your love of numbers to solve real life problems. So I think the need for analytics people is going to get uh, more prominent as time goes on. But I mean, I think that particularly for engineers who want sort of to use their love of numbers in the business world, I think it's real, and we have a lot of those here are scientists, I think, in the program. Because I mean, we have all these great companies, and that one attraction coming here was the fact you have all these companies here in Houston. You've got all the energy companies, you've got NASA, there's a ton of stuff here. And so basically you have a lot of people who are skilled professionals with a good math background that basically I think I can add some value to by showing them what they can do in the business world with math.